All right, now I'm on page uh, 399 of the Go Math textbook. Follow along, let's get to it. Find the area. Here's our formula again. Area equals one half base times height. Here's our triangle. Here's our base, 14. Here's our height. Remember, we always want to use uh, vertical or horizontal lines, no slanted lines, which is 8. So 1 half, uh, 14, 1 half times 14 times 8. Again, lots of different ways you can do this. You can do 14 times 8 and then divide by 2. You can say, okay, half of 14 is 7 and then 7 times 8. You can say half of 8 is 4 and then 4 times 14. Any way you want to do it because it's all multiplying. Okay, And then you can also do the divide by 2 because multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. So I'm going to uh, just go from left to right. Half of 14 is 7. So 1 half times 14 is 7. Um, and then 7 times 8 is 56, so 56 centimeters squared. Okay, number two, the area is 132. So this time they gave us the area, 132, and we know that equals 1 half times the base, which is 22, times the height, which is what we don't know. Uh, 1 half of 22, half of 22 would be 11. So I'm going to come down here. Uh, again, you can show this work on your scratch paper. You don't have to show all this work in your textbook. But half of, half of 22 is 11, so now I have 132 equals half of 22 is 11, 11 times h. And again, I want to get this, now I just want to get this h by itself. That's what I'm solving for. What does h equal? So I have to do the inverse operation, which means I have to divide by 11. That leaves you with just h. And then what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So now we're doing 11 into 132. 11 can't go into 1. It can go into 13 one time. 11 goes into 22 twice. And that's exactly 22. So our height is 12. So again, we're just plugging in the numbers. That's all you're doing. You know the formula. There's our formula. And you're just plugging in what they give you. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Uh, we know the formula. Area equals 1 half times the base, which in this case is 27 times the height, which in this case is 40. Now this is a good example where it would be much easier for me to find half of 40 first. So 1 half times 40 is 20, and then I still have this 27 left, so times 27. Uh, another way I can do this is 27 times 20 this way, and then I know I just need to double the 27, which is going to be what? 54, and then add my zero. So 540, and it's mm millimeters, and it's millimeters squared because I'm finding area. Okay, here I'm finding area as well, so I know it's going to be mm squared for my final answer. I know my formula. I'm going to erase some of this work. Again, you just write, do this work on scratch paper. Okay, area equals 1 half times the base, which is 5.5, times the height, which is 4. Okay, again, this is an example where it's going to be much easier for me to multiply half of 4. What is half of 4? Half of 4 is 2. And now I'm just left with 2 times 5.5, because again, half of uh, 4 is 2. So now I have 5.5 times 2, or just 5.5 plus 5.5. So again, I have one number behind the decimal here, no numbers behind the decimal here, so I'm going to have to move my decimal over 1. 
5 times 2 is 10, carrying my 1. 5 times 2 is still 10, plus 1 is 11. Move my decimal over 1, and that makes 11 millimeters squared as my final answer. Again, you're just plugging in the numbers they've given you and then solving for whatever, either solving for A, which is the easiest situation, or solving for base or height. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.